Hello friends, this is Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our second video on the video tutorial series on how to draw beam column plan. So in the previous videos, we had just created a new AutoCAD file and set its dimensions and text settings. So after that, we are now to import the centerline diagram from the file having units of feet and inches to the file having units of mm. So let's get started without wasting any time. So we'll just select this here. We'll just press Ctrl plus C and we'll go to the mm file and then press Ctrl plus V. So before that, if you haven't watched our previous videos, we recommend you go and give it a look. So now we have our file imported here into the mm file. So now we'll convert it into mm using our align tool. So first of all, let us check the dimension of a particular thing here. Let us check this dimension. It will be 30 feet. So it is 30 feet. So we'll now convert this 30 feet into m. So we have the calculator here. So we'll just 30 divided by 3.28. As we know that 3.28 feet equals to 1 meter. So it is converted into meter which is 9.146 for converting into mm we will multiply by 1000 so it's 9146.3 mm so we will remember this value and now we will go to our mm file after going to our mm file we will just simply draw a line here we will draw this line for 9146.3 we will just take the value here ok it's 9146.3 so we'll just press enter so the line has been created which length is 9146.3 because you can see in the dimension here it's 9146.3 so we'll now use the align tool so we'll just select this the items which you want to align and then we'll press a l and then enter so after that it is asking what is asking it's specify first source point so first source point, we'll select this one, the end of this column and then second source point, we'll select as this. Specify second source point, second source point, we can just take as this and second destination point, we'll choose the end of this line. Now we'll just click on enter. It is asking scale objects based on alignment, yes or no, we'll just click on yes. So as you can see, the objects have been scaled. Now these have been converted into mm. We'll just delete the old dimensions here, which are not required. So this has been converted into mm. We can check the dimension here. Here we can check this dimension. So it is 9146.3 mm and all the dimensions of this bedrooms toilets and all the other elements have been converted as per our mm file so this is an easy way to convert from fit to mm now we'll proceed forward for creation of our beam column plans so we'll do that in our upcoming videos see you in the next videos bye bye